Match number 32, Japan versus Senegal. So Japan's starting lineup is like this. Kawashima in goal, Makino, Saki, Nagatomo, Yashinda, Kono, Keiate, Kagawa, Honda, Osaki, and Osako. As for Senegal, they will line up like this. Ndai in goal, Kasama, Sane, Mbojodi, Diame, Savier, Ndaye, Diop, Geai, Mane, and Diouf. So, kicking off match number 32 will be Senegal in their traditional green jerseys and that's given straight away for Japan to take advantage. This is a match that is probably evenly poised, could go either way. Obviously, had a quick look at the attributes, you would see that Japan would probably be the stronger of the sides, but you should look into that, I don't think any of that really matters. Um, so this match in the real world will take place on the 24th of June it will take place at the Central Stadium and that is in Yekaterinburg obviously deep in Russia um, the, the match is the second the first match of the second oh my goodness Senegal the weaker side according to the attributes are in front they've got the noses in front this will be a right mix up for the group. Keeps it interesting. Senegal with Mane open up the scoring. So this match is the first of the second group matches in Group H. And this group also consists of Poland and Colombia, as well as obviously these two, Japan and Senegal. Um, these two sides have met three times previously. Nothing in the World Cup. Look at that equaliser though, Japan right back in there with one minute gone, two goals into this, that is up there with the goals of the tournament. As we'll look at this, well we ain't going to see a replay, but Osaki, Okasaki uh, equalises, I think he's on Leicester's books, Okasaki. 1-1, one, one. the Vuvuzela is in the background if you can hear it, here comes Senegal kicking off the, uh, after that goal. So. E nicely poised, but these two sides have met three times in the real world, so this encounter will be the fourth of their history. Their first or the last time that these two sides met. In fact, before I tell you that, Senegal have yet to beat Japan. That is correct, as look at that point blank range, can't get past the keeper. But yeah, well, yes, Senegal yet to beat Japan. In fact, tell a lie, tell a lie. Japan have yet to beat Senegal. That's right, Japan have yet to beat Senegal. Last time that these two sides met was all the way back in 2003. Senegal winning, it was a friendly 1-0. And the first time on record, according to uh, uh, 11 versus 11, the first time that these two sides met was all the way back in 1987. 2-2 draw in the Kirin Japan Cup. So, Japan looking to right a wrong there and actually get themselves uh, a match, a result against Senegal this is actually Senegal's third no it's the Senegal's second World Cup last their only other previous appearance was 2002 where they also finished in the quarter finals that was with the likes of uh, El Hajj Jouf and who else was in there there was a couple of uh, uh, players that really stake, made a name for themselves for Senegal. Uh, Mane is now the figurehead for Senegal in the 2018 World Cup. As for Japan, this will be their sixth appearance. Uh, they were in the last one, which was in 2014. Uh, their best ever appearance was the round of 16, which they did in 2010 and in 2002, the uh, World Cup that they jointly hosted with South Korea. Obviously, South Korea went on to have a really, really good World Cup, making it to the semi-finals, I believe. I think they lost um, to Germany. That's testing my noggin. I, I don't know. But they finished fourth uh, in a World Cup. I think they were managed by... Who was it? Was it Louis van der Haal? It was some big Dutch fella, anyway. 
Oh, Gus Hiddink. I think it was Gus Hiddink. Yeah, that's right. Gus Hiddink was the manager for South Korea. And we're not talking about South Korea. We're talking about Japan. Japan and Senegal right here, right now. 1-1. And Japan's goal is up there in the goals of the tournament. I'm not saying it is the goal of the tournament because I did see some other belters earlier on. I think England are up there with one of them. But anyway, this result 1-1 would be interesting uh, aspect for the group. As Senegal opened up with a defeat, as did Japan. So a draw between these two sides could leave the door wide open for Colombia uh, or Port Poland to get themselves qualified with a result in the next match. But uh, and we'll talk about that game when that does crop up. But right now, both sides 1-1. So the second half will get underway. Japan looking to get themselves a second goal, obviously to try and take all three points. A defeat for either of these nations, you would think, would be game over. It wouldn't all be doom and gloom. I'm just trying to think of the 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 the, the permutations for uh, both these sides here. Let's just say, let's just say, full record, Japan win. They'll put them on three points. It will put Senegal on zero, and then in the next match, Poland versus Colombia. Let's just say Colombia wins that, so they'll be on six points. Uh, Poland will be on three, as would Japan be on three. So then it would be Japan versus Poland. The winner of those would be on six points. So yes, Senegal would be out. Vuvuzela's going on in the background, cheering on Senegal, trying to find a winner for them. So most importantly, but if, if it ends like this, it keeps both teams' hopes alive and it'll keep them into the well, the competition, into the third and final group game. And that's a dirty foul there. He might get a yellow for that. Nope. Lives to fight another day. Senegal free kick is played short, as they all seem to be doing. And they look for that crucial pass that will separate the Japanese defence. Senegal now looking for that elusive second goal as well. So the next goal, I believe, will be telling. And I believe it will, there will only be one more goal left in this game, if any. As it's chipped forward. Mane already on the score sheet. Can he get involved again? I don't know. I don't see it coming. And that is put out of bounds for a throw. Senegal will take... If you're new to this setup, we do play two four minute halves. So obviously, we're into the second half now. Two minutes or just shy of two minutes left to play. If you enjoy it, it's a bit of a throwback, nostalgic football for you, 16 bit style. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to it and you enjoy it that much, hit the subscribe button. There's going to be plenty more FIFA 95 hacked, especially uh, especially for the World Cup, anyway. Um, I have dabbled with it before, and it's parried. Can Japan capitalise? No. Senegal look now to make a break of their own. But yeah, if you enjoy it, give it a, give me a some subscribe uh, and I will keep you up to date with the World Cup as and when games happen. And we've also got Cast the Cat, the psychic cat who's predicting the results for the World Cup as well. And there's plenty more World Cup bonanza for you to enjoy. But right here right now, this game looks to be petering out for a draw. Which will, which will suit both sides. It will leave it up for grabs in the last game. If the result finishes 1-1 between, uh, or a draw, let's say 0-0 between Colombia and Poland, then they will both be on four points. These two sides will be on one point. Uh, and then it would just be a pretty much a straight shootout between the sides and then goal difference and all that kind of uh, mathematical shindingo will come into play and that's another dirty foul yellow calf and die in the book he goes so japan have a free kick can they do any damage with it? it's played forward nicely better play good shot it's a goal japan have their noses in front 2-1 that was it's a crucial set play and japan lead this is massive for the country of Japan, massive. It's Okusaki has got his daily double. 2-0, 2-1 up. Right now, Senegal 
could be staring at elimination if I'm if I'm correct well no we did talk about this they do have a a, a chance to qualify um, it's just a long difficult process they will be rooting on um, who would they be rooting on they will be rooting on Poland in the Poland Colombia match they would want Poland to get two wins it'll leave Colombia on one win and then Senegal would have to beat Colombia and hope for Poland to beat Japan piece of cake right yeah so we're into injury time and that's another snapshot by Japan Japan you know they've got the, they've, it's theirs to lose now they will be taking on Poland and there it is 2-1 win just to recap the stats here, four shots on target for Japan, two of them went in the back of the net, Senegal had two, and only one went in the back of the net. A recap of the goal scorers, it was quick fire, Bonanza, Mane opened up the scoring for Senegal before Okusaki uh, equalised shortly after. It was a long, long, long wait for the winner, same guy, Okusaki, 7 minutes 28 seconds. As for the uh, tackles and bookings, Ndai, the only man in the book. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.